Good morning, everybody. It's Food Pantry Day, and we got some produce today. Yeehaw! I like produce. That's expensive stuff when you get to buy it from the store, and this saves so much money. And I got lots of stuff to make with the apples, because I got lots of apples now. I got three bags of apples, one from the last Food Pantry, and two from this time. So we got apples there, and we got some grapes back there. And some strawberries and they actually look pretty darn good we got a bag of potatoes in there and they're not green and another bag of apples so I gotta make some apple things this week sometime and we got an ultimate cheddar ranch chopped kit and a cheesy pesto rice cauliflower and broccoli saute Never tried that. I'm going to have to try that out. And we got a pretty good looking cucumber in there. And a little tiny baby spaghetti squash. I still haven't tried mine yet. And we got a little lonely lemon. And we got lots of mangoes. Now some of the mangoes are a little soft in my opinion. And yes, they would make a great apple juice. Uh, apple si uh. Oh my goodness, an applesauce type thing. Like a mango applesauce, which I may do some in that too. But they will also go great in one of my crock pot juices. So I may make up one of those this week. And we got two things of muffins. One of them is a butter rum. And one of them is orange pineapple. Oh my goodness, I swear to they were thinking of me when they put those in the box. How they knew those are my favorite flavors, I don't know, but they are. And we got some little tiny carrots this year. They are not as big and beautiful as the last set, but there is carrots nonetheless. And we got some beautiful raspberries. Um, if those are ending up a little soft, they'll go in my crock pot juice too. Or in an applesauce. We'll just see. And we got some onions back there. A couple of them are growing, but we'll just take those babies out. And we'll go throw them into the garden. Or the dirt. Or wherever they land. And we got some sub rolls and a few little croissants in there. We got some whole wheat pancake mix and some whole pitted dates. Now I've wanted to try dates to use as a sugar replacement thing. So I guess I'm going to get to and we'll see how they do. And we got a thing of cut green beans and a thing of corn back there. And a little can of chicken. As you know. We made chicken nuggets out of those, and they actually came out pretty darn good. Check out that video, too, if you want to see how to make them. We got a pepper, a whole bunch of little tiny candies, and chocolate melts for coating chocolate. We got some skinny pop popcorn. We got some Planet Oat Milk. Emma likes oat milk. And I got a big thing of Almond Breeze. I love almond milk. It's great. We got a pork tenderloin there. Big one. And a chuck pot roast. Yeah, chuck pot roast. I said that right. We got some backyard barbecue chicken. It's great that it comes in little small servings because it's just me and Emma here now, so... Little small servings is slowly teaching us how to cook a little bit smaller. We got some frozen apricots. We got some tooth cans of traditional tomato sauce. Low sodium. I guess that's not probably traditional now, is it? Unsalted tomato soup. And a can of diced white potatoes. I did love, enjoy making the... Um potato salad from the canned to potatoes. It worked out great to just have a serving for me. Seems how Emma does not eat them. And we got some turkey breast down there. Lunch meat turkey breast. And oven baked ham in there. So we got a pretty good haul. Most of this stuff actually kind of healthy. I like it. Just those two naughty things 
Naughty muffins. But, oh, I'm excited for a crock pot juice. And a bunch of applesauce will make up many different flavored kind of applesauces. It'll be great and wonderful and super fantastic. And Emma's been loving the applesauce lately. So that'll be something definitely healthy. And we don't put a lot of sugar in ours, if any at all, when we make it. Sometimes you don't need to, depending on how sweet the fruit is. So there we go. That's my food pantry haul for today. Just a little short one, but so much good stuff in this one. Oh, it's so impressive. I'm probably going to cook a lot of the meats up and freeze them flat and shred them and stuff like that because we do a lot of shredded meat. I have some that I leave whole and some that I shred because, you know, eventually I'm going to want them there anyway. And then I don't have to cook them the next time. I can just get all my cooking all done at once. So that's what I do. And they lay flat in the freezer that way in a Ziploc bag. So it doesn't take up as much room as it would leaving them in the packages all whole. So... That's what we got at the food pantry today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to go over and tape Mom's food pantry haul. Can't wait to see what she got too. So all of y'all have a super wonderful, fantastic day. And hope you hit that subscribe button. Watch those couple of other videos that I talked about. Hey, watch them all if you want. You know, you can hit a playlist and you can play them all. Isn't that awesome? So thank you for watching and have a great, super wonderful, fantastic day. Hi everybody, um, just really quickly I wanted to show you, I took about 10 minutes, I got all one bag of apples chopped up, I did some of the strawberries in there because they didn't look exactly great for eating, they were kind of wrinkly in some spaces, so, and we got some mangoes all peeled up, and I'm just going to stick them in like that and take the seeds out afterwards for the mangoes, I don't feel like messing with them. So we're going to put these all in the Instapot. And like I said, one whole bag of apples is what I did up. I did up four mangoes and the little box of strawberries. Emma said she didn't want any raspberries in there, so we're not doing the raspberries. The raspberries I'll put in the crock pot juice later. Look at that. All the wonderful strawberries in there. And apples mangoes and just apple strawberries and mangoes that's what it is yes emma's taping for me behind the scenes today thank you emma and i left three or four mangoes in the bag because those are going to go in the crock pot juice too i'll wash off my hands real quick then i'll show you how i do that And if you haven't done, if you're like a lot of people I know, you have this Instapot sitting on your counter and you have never used it. I love my Instapot. I use it daily for something. Whether it's just to cook in, because my stove sometimes sucks, or just I use it daily. I love my Instapot. I could be the Instapot spokeswoman of the world. I really could because I just use it for everything. So, oh, we got a seed. Not that I wouldn't take that out later when I found it, but there we go. So, you just pop everything in there, and mine comes to the max full line now. A little, a little bit so you can see. See them? So that show them. Isn't that nice? And you just put a little bit of water in there. You don't need much, just a very little bit. That's probably like maybe an eighth of a cup or so of water because the fruit itself is going to give off a lot of wonderful liquids and be all great. And then we're going to put the cover on. And then I'm going to choose... Let's see. Steam, yeah, we'll do about 10 minutes because some of the apples are a little harder this time and the mangoes are a little hot, harder this time. So I just choose steam for 10 minutes. Make sure everything's closed up up here. And there you go. When you get done, all your apples will be nice and uh, cooked up. And your mangoes hopefully, hopefully will be falling off the seed things, pits. I don't know, do they call them mango pits? I don't know. But anyway, the big mango seed that's in the middle, hopefully all the mango will be off there. 
and then I will just mush it up a little bit more with a potato masher or an immersion blender if you like using them. I don't think I need to get out the immersion blender for all of this. Just a potato masher works just fine usually. So that's how I make my applesauce. That's it. That's all that goes into it. Maybe a little sugar afterwards if it needs it, but I always taste test it before I add any sugar because if we don't need to, we're not doing it. So that's what I did with a lot of the fruits that I got from today's food pantry haul. I'm going to add this to the video at the end, but hopefully you keep watching because I know I said goodbye on the other one, but hey, I can add. So there we go, and hope you all have a wonderful, super fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next video.